The world's leading expert on Islam and the Middle East, Bernard Lewis, has died at the age of 101. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel would be forever grateful for his robust defense of Israel and that Professor Lewis's wisdom would continue to guide us for years to come. CBN News interviewed Lewis in Jerusalem in 2008. In his 100 plus years on earth, Bernard Lewis learned to take the long view of history. And in doing so, he had a warning for America and the West. Years after our interview, his views are still relevant today. In his 90 plus years on earth, Bernard Lewis has learned to take the long view of history. And in doing so, he has a warning for America and the West. The main message that I'm trying to communicate is that we are engaged in a struggle comparable with the two great struggles of the 20th century against Nazism and against Bolshevism. And that um, it would improve our chances of winning if we understand who we are and who they are and what it's all about. Lewis says the struggle is between Islam and Christendom, two worldviews that contend that theirs is the one true faith. And while millions of secularists in America and Europe fail to see that they're actually involved in such a conflict, the nature of the fight is crystal clear for radical Islamists like Osama bin Laden. And where you have two religions with the same self-perception, the same sense of vision, the same historical background in the same geographical area, a conflict was inevitable. And the conflict has been going on for more than 14 centuries. A crusade and counter-crusade and jihad and counter-jihad, conquest and reconquest. Sometimes one side winning, sometimes the other side winning. When bin Laden and his fellow radicals drove the Soviet Union out of Afghanistan in the early 1980s, people in the West saw a U.S. victory in the Cold War. But the Islamists saw it as the defeat of one of two major Christian powers. And now the, the only obstacle that remains to the worldwide triumph of Islam is the United States. So that is the next target. And uh, that is very clear. Many Americans compare the war against radical Islam in Iraq and elsewhere with the Vietnam War. But Lewis says that's the wrong way to look at it. The difference is that the Vietnamese did not follow us here, except perhaps as refugees seeking asylum. Mm -hmm. uh, these people will. I mean, they were already here before this happened. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at their writings, particularly those of Osama bin Laden, but not only his, this is perfectly clear. They see this as the final stage in the cosmic struggle between uh, the true believers and the unbelievers and the misbelievers. What are the stakes, Professor? The survival of our civilization.